what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back girl if you are new here welcome i do hope that you stay and subscribe take two seconds to look to your bottom right and see if you are subscribed if you are interested in continuing to watch my content and support me but girl if you've been riding with me and been a part of the guru gang then you already know what time it is girl this is going to be another installment of my affordable body care layering series so i did my first one of these you guys about a month ago um give or take it was a little early into the fall season but y'all know how the internet is it just makes things start super 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 early and i posted a pumpkin spice body care layering routine so now that we are a little bit more into fall it is starting to cool down a little bit i did reshare that on a community post a couple of days ago so if you guys are interested in that i will put a little picture over here but i'm also going to make this an entire playlist so the next installment of this is one that I've actually been planning. I have pretty much all of the ones that I'm doing planned out already. I just kind of am adding like bits and pieces of things as I'm finding things. But I wanted to go ahead and post this one because I have actually two directions that I wanted to take this particular scent in. So this will be a two-parter. This series or this portion of the series, I should say, is going to focus on one of my favorite scent notes ever, which is marshmallow, you guys. Yes, the fluffy, delicious, ooey gooey marshmallow note. It is one of my favorite notes in perfumes and not even just for fall, but specifically for fall and winter because it's just one of those delicious gourmand scents that layers perfectly with literally everything. And I just love when I see that in a fragrance note. So <laughs> with that being said, you guys, let's jump into it. So this portion of the video, um, like I said, I am going to split this into two, but this particular one is going to focus more so on marshmallow in s'mores marshmallow body care that focuses on a s'mores type of vibe so that is what we're going to be doing here today super excited some of these products are probably things that you guys already have in your collection which i did try to focus on again i like to focus on not only affordable options but things that you guys may already have because as you guys know we are approaching the holiday season and if you guys are like me, you are going to be trying to save your money a little bit more since we are coming up on the holiday season. There are going to be a lot of sales and things that are going to be tempting us. So right now, I am actually trying not to really shop. I'm trying to really just make lists of things that I want to pick up next month as we start to approach Black Friday and things like that. So with that being said, you guys, let's just jump into the first step, okay? The first step of the S'mores body care routine, of course, is going to be the toasted marshmallow and vanilla from Native. Now, this definitely, this is a newer product, but this is something that I have been loving lately and I have been using it quite a bit. Native is really, really good about their holiday seasonal scents and I'm super, super excited that we're starting to see them come back. One of my faves being sugar every video you guys never feels every video okay so one of my faves being sugar cookie which i actually just emptied in my last empties video we have been seeing that scent pop back up a little bit i mean how long is it gonna take him to drive by girl okay anyways so yes sugar cookie has been popping up in some people's stores i personally haven't seen it in my store just yet but I have seen the spiked eggnog and I've been seeing, um, I saw the apple cider, which I told you guys, I wasn't like the biggest fan of that one, but I've been seeing some of the holiday scents popping up in body care. Um, so yes, there is a matching deodorant to this as well. I personally would love to see native do lotions again, like lotions and body creams in these seasonal scents because the deodorants are fun but I don't really feel like they do much for me like especially if I'm going to the gym and things like that they they don't do much but just literally just make my armpits smell good but if I'm sweating they don't really do anything for me so anyways <laughs> so the toasted marshmallow and vanilla this is really just the ooey gooey rich marshmallow like it definitely smells like a roasted toasted marshmallow like not quite like you know fireside roasted but more of just like a, a marshmallow that's kind of been like melted down like marshmallow and vanilla kind of mixed into a pot like you're about to make you know a dessert or you're trying to melt your marshmallows down before you you know put them inside of a s'more or something like that that's what it smells like to me i definitely get vanilla it almost gives me kind of like a tonka bean type of vibe too but overall you guys when i use this in the shower it just envelops me in this soft cozy marshmallow scent and I love it. I love this for the beginning of my marshmallow combos, the beginning of my s'mores combos, and just any gourmand combo, honestly, because it does have 
a primarily vanilla type of scent but that marshmallow just adds that ooey gooey fluffiness that I love. So yes, you can pick this up at Target. I will link it below as well as provide links for all of the items that I'm talking about. As long as they are still available, you guys, I will have them linked below in the description box. So yeah, that is Natives Toasted Marshmallow and Vanilla. Okay, you guys, next thing we're going to do is go in with the Sugared Vanilla Body Scrub from Ulta Beauty. So if you guys have been watching my past few empties video, um, I have actually talked about this quite a few times. I've talked about the coconut cream one, which is the one that's probably my favorite, but this one is just as good. The scent of this one is more of like a sugared tonka bean type of smell. Like it definitely gives me a rich vanilla extract type of smell. And I thought that would go perfectly with this s'mores routine, considering that is a very deep sensual type of dessert. And I just love how this smells. And again, this body scrub line in particular, it does actually foam a bit, which they don't advertise on here, but I really feel like they should because people would probably buy a lot more of these if they knew that this was like a foaming body scrub. So yeah, I really, really love these. I have quite a few scents of this one, but this one is definitely really good. All right, you guys. So next we're going to talk moisturizer. So now that you've got your scrubs and your soaps out of the way, you're going to go ahead and go in with your moisturizer, right? So... The first moisturizer I want to talk about is, of course, Bonfire Bash, right? You cannot do a s'mores marshmallow body care layering video without Bonfire Bash. Now, the notes in Bonfire Bash are vanilla bourbon, creamy sandalwood, and cashmere musk. Now, I know there isn't actually marshmallow listed in here, but I'm promising you guys I'm getting marshmallow. So when I think about Bonfire Bash and how it relates to a s'mores combo, Bonfire Bash gives me like the woodiness from the campfire that you are roasting s'mores over, right? So when you think about s'mores, you're not only thinking about the chocolate and the marshmallow and the graham cracker, you're also thinking about the campfire and the woody vibes and just the fall vibes that you would be outside making s'mores in. And that is what Bonfire Bash gives me. It's definitely a very sexy, vanillic, woody type of scent but for some reason you guys um i know some people have said the body cream of this for them this year has been bad and i'm no stranger to the weird sensation of bath body works body creams this year it's just all over the place but i do feel like bonfire bash body cream as opposed to the fine fragrance mist which is a little bit more smoky i feel like the body cream this year has a lot more marshmallow like there is a definitely a gooey gooey marshmallow vibe coming from the body cream and it's a little bit softer than the fine fragrance mist now don't get me wrong i do also love the fine fragrance mist but i feel like the, the body cream actually really captures a woody marshmallow note which i really really love so i definitely recommend the bonfire bash body cream all i would say though i would say try it in store Try out whichever one you're going to buy in store before you take it home because I have been seeing some people say that their Bonfire Bash body cream or body lotion has smelled weird. So I don't know. I don't have that experience with this. Um, I may have just picked up a good one. I'm not sure. But I definitely get marshmallow in the Bonfire Bash body cream this year. Now, next product. Now, if you guys have watched my recent TJ Maxx and Marshalls haul, you will see that I picked this up. This was the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere in the hydrating body cloud cream with vitamin infused beans beads and i told you guys that i thought it was spoiled because if you look at it you could kind of see these weird little beads in there but i actually have used it and i love this formula you guys this is definitely like a whipped somewhat thick consistently type of body cream but it literally melts into your skin and the fresh cream warm cashmere scent again is a very creamy yet woody fragrance. So it definitely gives me that s'mores vibe where it's like a grown up s'mores where it's got like a little bit of a woodiness to it. There's sandalwood, there's like a vanillic quality to it. And it definitely gives me that same woody s'mores campfire type of vibe that I get from Bonfire Bash. Um, it's just, this one's a lot more lactonic. It definitely has more creaminess to it. And it's just overall a very, very sexy scent. So I definitely think you guys should Run to your local TJ Maxx or Marshalls and see if you can find this in either the original Fresh Cream formula or the Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Either one, you guys, this body cream is bomb. All right, you guys, last moisturizer, right? This is not a scent that is available right now, but if you have this in Beach Nights, you can absolutely use that as a substitute 
This is the Vanilla Bean from Bath & Body Works. The notes in this are fluffy vanilla, white orchid, toasted tonka, and whipped cream. Now this smells like the most ooey, gooey, richest, decadent, like just sticky sweet marshmallow smell like i know a lot of people have said that this is basically a repackage of beach night beach night summer marshmallow and in so many words i feel like they're very similar but i feel like beach night summer marshmallow has an added chocolate note in there that makes it a little bit different from this one but this one to me is a true whipped creamy fluffy marshmallow smell like i truly love this one it smells so good and it also has something deep and sensual about it so i think it's that tonka bean that really adds a sexiness to it and takes this from being a light basic vanilla scent to something super super sexy and delicious and rich and i just love this i'm so glad that this still has scent for me i have a couple backup bottles of this as well as the fine fragrance mist and i just love this scent so if you guys have this in your collection definitely pull it out and add it to your next s'mores marshmallow routine okay you guys now <laughs> let's move on to fine fragrance mist as well as perfume so the next fine fragrance mist i'm going to talk about is the cozy fireside s'mores from Body College. So the notes in this are smoky marshmallow, sandalwood, and chocolate. And again, you guys, anything that's gonna have that sandalwood in it is really gonna give me the vibes of the campfire from the um, from when you're making s'mores. But this one is definitely way more chocolate. I get like a very woody, chocolatey note. So this is definitely gonna be the chocolate that is melting on your s'mores over the campfire. So y'all, this just smells so 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 good like if you love chocolate scents i definitely recommend checking this one out i don't get a whole lot of marshmallow in this one honestly i mainly just get that very woody chocolatey scent but i am not mad at it i love it and it just pairs so beautifully with the other fluffy marshmallow scents and adds a nice little chocolatey dynamic to it so you really can just wrap yourself and envelop yourself in that s'mores aroma s'mores just goodness sticky sweetness like this five fragrance mist alone i get so many compliments on when i wear it and it just makes you feel warm and cozy like if you're going out on an, if you're going outside and you're doing something you know at night or you're going to like a pumpkin patch or you're going to a football game like this is just one of those scents that's just going to make you feel so warm inside and make the people around you really gravitate towards you because it's just so comforting and soothing so yeah that is cozy fireside s'mores by body ecology okay you guys the next five fragrance mist is actually going to be an honorable mention because i left it in my car and i'm kind of on a roll with filming for the day so i really do not want to run to my car and mess up my flow but i will put a picture of it over here so you guys may have seen that i posted this on my community tab the other day it is the golden s'mores from the good scent so i did pick that up from tj maxx the other day and what i will tell you guys about it is this two things number one it is a true graham cracker chocolate scent like for me i don't really get marshmallow in it i mostly get straight up crumbly buttery graham cracker and chocolate from that mist and i loved how it smelled you guys i truly loved how it smelled however the longevity is it's trash <laughs> it's really bad um so i would recommend with that one you spray it on your clothes just over spray it on your clothes you guys don't even bother spraying it on your body because i promise you the scent is probably going to dissipate within like 20 seconds but if you over spray your clothes with that particular scent you definitely will get wrapped up in this buttery graham crackery chocolate goodness it almost smells like those like chocolate biscuits like they're like these biscuit crackers that are like graham cracker and chocolate together i cannot think of the name right now but you get them sometimes like on the airplane y'all know what i'm talking about it's basically like a dessert that's like a wafer and chocolate together like y'all know what i'm saying but anyways that's the that's what it smells like to me it smells like the buttery golden crust part of your s'more mixed with a little bit of that chocolatey goodness and it just smells so good but again like i said you guys if you guys go to tj maxx looking for that just know the longevity is not good okay I'm telling y'all now, it lasts 20 seconds, if that. So <laughs> over spray your clothes, you might get a good hour, but otherwise just know and be prepared, 
you are going to have to reapply consistently with that one. So yeah, I think that's actually why it's in my car right now because I just kept it with me because I knew it was going to have to reapply. But either way, I like it and still recommend it. So yeah. Guys, now, <laughs> next fine fragrance mist. Of course, I cannot do this video without Beach Nights. So this is a more recent packaging of Beach Nights. I do still have some older packaging. So if you have the original packaging of Beach Nights and you didn't repurchase it this summer, I'm sure it's just as good. The notes in this are toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, and beach driftwood and creamy vanilla. And Beach Nights is just one of those fine fragrance mist that you are going to get a compliment on every time you wear it from a stranger, from someone you know. It is just truly a delicious, salty, chocolatey, marshmallowy. Like it literally smells like you're making s'mores on a beach because you're getting a little bit of like saltiness, like ocean air, but you're also getting a toasted, roasted marshmallow. You're getting a little bit of a woody vibe. You're getting that vanilla. It just, it's just such a sexy, fragrance and for this to come from bath and body works i promise y'all every time i wear this if they are if i'm around someone who is not familiar with bath and body works scents, they literally always say what perfume are you wearing because this is one of those fine fragrance mists that is usually beast mode and it just does not smell like a bath and body works fine fragrance mist so i definitely recommend this in any type of marshmallow routine but specifically if you're wanting to capture that vibe of s'mores that woodiness that chocolatiness that richness that sexiness this is definitely going to be your girl okay since we're talking about sexy roasted toasted s'mores okay this is a new girl this is the new girl on the block when it comes to the s'mores body care okay so this is the star smoked amber from victoria's secret this year and y'all when i tell y'all i've been getting non-stop non-stop compliments on this since i have picked it up if you want to know what i have been layering it with definitely check out my most recent victoria's secret layering video but the notes in this are amber dahlia sparks a marshmallow halo crackling cedar woods and like i told you guys if you guys did not see my video rating all of these scents this is literally a roasted caramelized marshmallow amber scent it's like the marshmallow in the amber are being melted over a fire and they form together to form like a resinous syrupy sweet marshmallow amber mashup like y'all it just smells so good to me if you are not a fan of woody somewhat smoky type of fragrances i definitely would not recommend this one this is not blind by blind by safe this is definitely an elevated marshmallow a sexy marshmallow if you love amber i definitely think you should give this a try but this is not going to be your teen friendly or you know juvenile you know simple type of scent this is definitely one that you have to smell with a nose for those types of scents but if you like those types of scent girl, I definitely think this fits in perfectly with a s'mores body care layering routine. So y'all, this is a man magnet, okay? Just thank me later. So now we've made it to my favorite part, girl. My favorite part, the perfumes, okay? All right, so first, we're gonna actually talk about a perfume that I've already talked about him on my channel a couple of times, but most recently in my fall body care layering videos, and that is Choco Musk by All Rehab. Now, Girl, how can you do a s'mores body care routine without a chocolate perfume? Hello. But <laughs> what I will say about this, you guys, this is definitely a chocolate bomb. But what I love about this is that there's also a little bit of a vanillic creaminess in the dry down. So it just gives you a creamy, almost like chocolate, vanilla, like Neapolitan ice cream type of vibe. So it just smells really good when you're doing a s'mores body care routine because it's adding that chocolate and that vanilla, which is, you know, you can kind of use vanilla and marshmallow interchangeably sometimes, but when you are, when you are creating that s'mores body care routine, this is just perfect because there's also a little bit of, a bit of like butteriness in here and a little bit of like woodiness. So it kind of even gives you the graham cracker vibe a little bit, but overall, I just love this perfume and she is a cheapie. She is super affordable. I have linked this before um but i will link it again below because you can shop this in my amazon store as well but yes super super affordable and i just love this perfume okay girl now obviously i was gonna do fresh cream warm cashmere darling because i did the fresh cream warm cashmere body butter so here we have fresh cream warm cashmere now 
I have told you guys before, I don't typically always gravitate towards this one. Usually if I'm doing a layering combo, I use the regular fresh cream because it is more of a whipped, milky, sweet, powdery type of scent. But I do love this one for a s'mores routine because again, it gives that woody type of vibe. It can lean slightly masculine, but I do feel like once you mix it with other things that have vanilla and a lot more sweetness to them, they definitely soften it up and make this truly a delectable, yummy, woody, creamy fragrance. And it gives me really the same vibes as, you know, Bonfire Bash and the Star Smoked Amber where it's like, it just becomes this very vanillic almost caramelly type of vibe because it just mixes with that woodiness and it just smells so bomb and i always get compliments on this one as well um the body cream the scent is a little bit more milky i would say like this is definitely a lot more masculine but once it dries down and once you layer it with other things that sweetness really starts to come in and overall this is just a beautiful perfect fall scent that is fresh cream warm cashmere the last perfume i'm going to talk about in this affordable s'mores body care layering routine normally i would not include this in an affordable body care layering video okay because the full size bottle of this is like 130 dollars um however i did pick up the travel size of it because honestly you guys this scent is so good. I am okay with having a full size and a travel size because the way that the bottle is, you guys, it's a pretty big bottle and I really don't feel comfortable traveling with it. So I went ahead and picked up the travel size of it, but this is Milk by Commodity. So you can pick up this small little travel size pen at Sephora right now, um, or you can pick it up from their website, but I will link the Sephora link to um, this travel size pen below, as well as for the full size if you want the full size. But this is just perfect, you guys. So this scent, the main notes of this are basically the same woody, toasted, roasted, marshmallow, tonka bean type of vibe that I really wanted to capture in this routine. And I just love this scent, you guys. It is mainly a marshmallow tonka bean woody bomb. However, even though they don't have cinnamon listed on the notes for this, it definitely gives me some cinnamon spice type of vibes. I don't know if it's the woodiness that's coming in a little spicy, but it definitely gives me some cinnamon in here. And overall, it just smells like a roasted cinnamon marshmallow perfume. And I just freaking love it. I also really love gold. Um, but gold to me smells a lot more lactonic than milk does, which is weird. Like gold smells a lot more powdery and milky sweet than, um, than milk does. Milk just smells like really like a cinnamon roasted marshmallow, if that makes sense. For all you guys, I love this perfume. I will be talking about it in my upcoming fall um, perfume video. So just pretend like you didn't hear about it if you see it again. But yes, I definitely recommend this perfume and I love it. And it just goes perfectly with a s'mores body care routine. Last thing for this routine, then I promise we're done. This is the Toasted Marshmallow EOS Lip Balm. As you can see, I've already used this. I've already, you know, opened it. But I did want to keep the packaging just so I could show you guys what it looks like in store. So um, this is just something cute and fun, you guys. If you love marshmallow and you love lip balms like I do, this is just something fun to top off your routine with. It's really just a basic vanilla scent, honestly. But... If you think it smells like marshmallow, it's gonna smell like marshmallow. And this is just one of my favorite lip products. I just love their little lip balms. And sometimes their lip balms are like weird and waxy. So I'm just happy to report that the toasted marshmallow one is normal. It goes on really smooth, keeps my lips moisturized for the majority of the day. And I just love throwing these in my purse for the day. So yeah. All right, you guys, that is it for my s'mores body care layering routine. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please stay tuned for the second portion of this video and also for future installments of this series. So I'm super, super excited to go ahead and start rolling these out because some of these I have been sitting on for a few months now and I'm just trying to go ahead and get the ball rolling and get these out there. So thank you guys so much for your continued support and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.